How, how many opportunities did you say that would you say you had, you think? Um, there was a few for sure. I, you know, like you said, after my best best year, uh, which I'm fortunate to have, because uh, in the past I haven't always, haven't always had that. You know, I've, sometimes I've only had a, uh, one option to you know, sign back to where I was. So it was good to have a few options, and I'm and I'm glad I landed here. Thanks. Thank you, Josh Kendall, the athletic. Hey, Mac. Nice, nice to meet you. I, to follow up on what you were saying, why did the Falcons offer? stand out from the ones you had was it offensive fit was it purely financial was it geography you know was it some of everything i think it's always a mix of everything but you know when at the end of the day when you you put financials aside and money aside you play this game for the game um and my opportunity to play here and opportunity to win games and to be coached at a high level um they all kind of hit the marks that I, that I wanted. And, you know, that's how I kind of made that decision between me and my girlfriend and family and kind of figuring that out. Who, like, how, how do we want to move on? This was the, the spot that, that fit the boxes that I wanted, you know, kind of checked. You seem, you know, just from the outside looking in, like a good fit for Arthur's offense, big guy in breaking routes is, is, do you feel like that suits your game as well? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think being a big, you know, size is something you can't teach. Uh, and we have a room of guys that are definitely uh, fortunate in that in that aspect. Uh, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Uh, and then to have a, a offense that's tailored for that makes it even better. You know, because, you know, if you have an offense that's not tailored for big guys and you have big guys, it doesn't really work out that well. But we kind of have both those. We have big guys in the offense tailored for it. So I'm definitely excited for the opportunity to to go out there and, and maximize this offense. Thank you, Mac. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Jarvis, Davis. Hey, Mac, how you doing, man? Good. How are you, Jarvis? I'm well. I'm well. Um, what was what stood out to you when you first met Terry Fondo and Arthur Smith? Like what were some of the things that qualities did just stood out to you when you first met those guys? Um, it's hard to put on a specific quality. I'll, I'll describe like you, you throughout life. You just kind of get like a feel, if that makes sense. Like maybe it's a gut feeling. Um, maybe with me and Arthur, it's that we're Tar Heels. Maybe we just have that like in us and it just happened. Um, but even with Terry, it's just like when you dap him up, you, I felt like I've known him for a while and I like I just met you. Like, how do I? Why do I feel like I've known you for for years? Um, and that's a feeling that you don't always get. Um, and as I've gotten older and played more years in this league, I've learned to kind of gravitate towards that and not force myself into situations where uh, it, on paper it looks good, but I don't really vibe with them. Uh, I, I go more towards the people that I like genuinely feel like, oh, I vibe with and I have a connection with than people that I'm like, ah, this is kind of weird, but it, it looks good on paper, so maybe it'll work out. Um, so that's why, you know, with, with Terry and Arthur, it's like, I feel like I can kick it with y'all. Whether I play with y'all or not, I can kick it. Um, so it's 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 definitely exciting to to be a part of something like that. And um, I know you say you, you didn't really go into, like, spe um, specifics about what your role is for this offense, but what do you feel like you can bring to this offense um, going into year three for, for this regime? Yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like I can bring a, another high-powered receiver to the, to the offense. Um, but also somebody that, that can play a significant role in the run game. I've had that in my career where I've been a, uh, you know, a run blocker, and I know that we can, you know, you have a high power run game and pass game. It's it's hard to stop an offense. Um, so so being able to do that, and then I've always been a, a special teamer as well. So uh, it, whatever I can do, like I said earlier, it's like the more I can do, the the, the better for me. I'll I'll do whatever it takes. And uh, so with that being said, so that means we're going to be seeing a lot of gritty celebrations this year or what? If you don't see a lot, then we're not playing too well. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Mike, do you have any follow-ups? Yeah, actually, uh, this is a little weird maybe, but Mac, uh, you and I talked a couple years ago when Brandon Copeland was here and doing the Zoom calls. Are, yep. are, are, is that still going on? Are you guys still all working kind of together as a group or is that kind of dissipated a little bit? It's it's dissipated a little, um, but actually uh, he still does a bunch of like I still stay in contact with him. Um, and as you know, he's exceptional. Um, like he's a very impressive dude. Uh, and he's he's actually I think he's even moved on to more stuff. He has, he has his podcast and other stuff. Uh, 
but that specific thing is more dissipated into um like a di like the disc a discord chat that we're, yeah. we'll chat in um and he may pick it up back up uh again but usually right after the season he kind of he kind of waits lets everybody go through their free agency and all the stressful stuff before picking back up and getting back into that stuff okay cool i was just i just wasn't sure if that was still yeah. a thing in your world <laughs> yeah no it's uh he's, he's definitely uh started that domino and it's it's been super helpful Josh, any follow-ups? I'm good, thank you. Cool. Jarvis, you got anything or are you good? All good, man. Thanks. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, y'all.